Hello and welcome to today's GPA tutorial. This tutorial will be the last of the GPA tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn to configure and use the database PostgreSQL with GPA. Let's begin. To use PostgreSQL and GPA, I need to download and install PostgreSQL first. To do that, I'm going to use Docker. So, first, let's download and install Docker. All you have to do is to go to docker.com, click on Get Started, and select Docker Setup. And in my case, download for Mac. Now, let's install it and just wait. Docker is now running. Click on Start and then you can follow the guide if you need to. Now I can pull the PostgreSQL Docker image. Let's type Docker pull Postgres and wait. Finally, I can run the PostgreSQL database in Docker. Let's type docker run minus minus name db minus postgres minus e postgres password equal password minus d postgres minus p 5432 double point 5432. Good. Now Postgres is up and running. Before moving into our project and changing the configuration to use Postgres and not HU database, it is better to install pjadmin in order to manage our Postgres database and perform all queries. So let's download pjadmin from pjadmin.org. All you have to go is click on download Mac and select the last version. In my case, the version is 4.25. Now we run it and wait. As you can see, pgadmin is now up and running. To continue, we have to reset the master password. Good. We have now complete the installation of pgadmin and we are ready to change the configuration of JPA in our project. Let's go to persist.xml file and change the JDBC URL, putting JDBC, Postgres, 
localhost, 5432, Postgres. JDBC driver, org.postgres.driver. JDBC user, Postgres. JDBC password, password. And finally, Hibernate dialect in org, Hibernate dialect, Postgres plus dialect. Now it's time to run our application. Let's open the pgadmin Then click on server Put the DBS name Inside the connection tab Hostname localhost Password put password And click on save On the left side, you can see our PostgreSQL database with all the tables. Person, school, tutor, teacher and teacher students. And there you have it. In this video, you will learn how to use PostgreSQL database with JPA. We installed Docker, Postgres, pgadmin, and in the end, we have successfully changed the configuration inside the persist XML file. As I said at the beginning, this is the last video of JPA tutorial series. Hope you have learned a lot from this tutorial, and I hope you like them. Remember that inside the description you can find the link to the GitHub repository and if you have any question don't hesitate to drop a comment in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated with a new video that I will upload. See you in the next video, bye!